Once upon a time, there lived a woodcutter named Kwai. One day, he took his axe into the forest in search of trees to chop down. Suddenly, he saw four tiger cubs lying dead in front of their cave. Just as Kawai was about to come nearer to see, the mother tiger arrived home. Being afraid of her, Kawai threw away his axe and climbed the closest tree he could find to hide it. Oh my goodness! Looking down from the tree, Kawai saw the mother hovering over her cubs. Then she went to a tree near to the one that Kawai was hiding in took some leaves, chewed them up, and placed them in her kids' mouths. To his amazement, the tiger cubs immediately recovered and started to move and play. Kwai waited until the mother tiger led her cubs away to another place, and then slowly crawled down. He walked toward the tree and dug the roots out to take it home. How can they rise from dead? Along the way, Kwai saw an old man lying dead on the grass. He pulled some leaves off the tree, chewed them, and put them into the man's mouth. How miraculous it was! The old man's eyes started to open. Then the old man said, This is the magical banyan tree. Take good care of it and heal the world. Remember to never use dirty water on the tree. Otherwise, the tree will fly up into the sky. He is dead. What will happen if I use these leaves? Let's give it a try. Aha! You're alive again! It's a miracle! This is the magical tree of resurrection. Remember to use clear water on the tree. Kwai brought the magical tree to his home and planted it in the corner of his garden. Every day, he watered the tree with the pure water from the well. Kwai saved countless lives with the magical tree. Whenever he heard of someone who was seriously ill or was dying, he would rush to take some of the leaves to him. One day, Kwai saved a dead dog in the river. The dog, who was very grateful to Kwai, happily tagged along with him. From then on, Kwai had another loyal, clever friend. The clear water will produce the magical leaves. Let's water the tree with clear water. Another day, Kwai saved the daughter of a wealthy man in the neighboring village. The girl was grateful to Kwai, and she wanted to be his wife. From then on, the couple lived together happily and peacefully. What a perfect Congratulations. couple! How lucky Kui is! One day, when Kawai wasn't at home, a band of robbers broke into his house and killed his wife. Knowing about Kawai's magical power, the robbers threw his wife's intestines in the river so that he couldn't save her. Arriving home, Kawai found his wife long dead. He rushed to the magical tree, picked some leaves off of it, and started to chew. But no matter how much he put the chewed leaves into his wife's mouth, he couldn't save her without her vital organs. Darling, 
What's the matter with you? Seeing Kuai sorrowfully crying, the dog asked him to take its organs so he could put them into his wife's stomach. Although Kuai had never tried to replace a person's intestines before, he took the risk anyway. Amazingly, his wife was brought back to life. Then Kuai made a clay replica of the intestines and put them into the loyal dog's stomach. The dog immediately came back to life again. Wow, am I really alive again? Thank God, my wife is alive again! However, his wife's personality and actions began to change as the day passed by. When he asked her to do something, she would do something else. One day, when Kawai went to the forest, he told his wife to water the tree with the water from the well. However, she didn't do as he said, instead watering the tree with dirty water. Remember not to use dirty water on the tree. Don't forget my words. Yes, I know, I understand. Kawhi told me to feed hay to the chickens. La 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 la. Kawhi told me to have cows hatch eggs. La 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 la. Kawhi told me to water the tree with dirty water. The magical tree began to shake and started to lift itself up into the sky. When Kwai came home, the tree was no longer in the ground and was already ahead above him. Kwai quickly grabbed the roots and tried to pull the tree back, but it continued to climb up to the sky as Kwai clung to its roots. Soon, the whole tree itself was lifted into the sky along with Kwai and it kept on going until it reached the moon. Oh my god! Oh, my, my tree. tree! What's no, the matter with it? I can't lose it! No! No! Kwai! Kwai, where are you? Since then, Kwai has been living on the moon with his magical banyan tree. People also say that each year, a single leaf falls from the tree's branches into the ocean. So now you know why, when you look up at the moon, you will see the image of a man sitting under an old tree. Do you want to become an astronaut to visit Kauai on the moon? If yes, you should study hard. Goodbye, and see you again soon.